Hey everybody. Hello, this is the Stuff I Heard podcast and this is your host Joshua Peak. Today happens to be Saturday, uh, July 13th and I am uh, doing this podcast on location. I am down in uh, Kiowa Island, South Carolina. Uh, Kiowa is kind of one of those places that's hard to get to because you've got to go down towards Charleston. Well, from where I live, you got to go towards Charleston. And then sort of take a detour. And once you get down here, like there's a security gate you got to go through to even get on the island. Then you got to tell them that you're here to stay at some resort or something like that. And then you go from there. Well, <clears throat> we just happened to have an introduction and a, in a uh, sort of access to do this uh, because of my mom and because of my stepdad. Uh, my stepdad is an ear, nose, and throat surgeon. And he has a conference that's down here that's continuing education. He had uh, classes yesterday and today from 7 a.m. till 2 in the afternoon and part of the deal was they give him a place to stay and my mom arranged it so that she could book us, uh, me and my brother and our families, um, a, another condo to stay in. So thank you to mom and Dan for that. We really appreciate it. It's been nice to come down here and hang out. It's uh, the weather's been very cooperative. We've had uh, the threat of rain almost every day, but it hasn't rained on us. We've actually had some really nice weather. We've taken turns cooking dinner, and there is a community pool nearby that we've gone to, and enjoyed hanging out and going swimming with the kids. My brother's got two young kids. Um, Scarlett just turned six. Yesterday was her birthday. Happy birthday, Scarlett! And my nephew Caden uh, is three, or will soon be three if he's not already three. I think he's already three. Yeah, he's already three. Anyway, um, so anyway, they've been a blast to hang out with. Um, there are a couple of slides at the pool that we go to. There's like a kitty area and an adult area. The adult area is not really adultish, but it does have a pool that you can go to. Um, and a bar and in that pool I think the deepest section is like four foot but they have like a, a basketball goal towards the back side so if you wanted to shoot hoops in the pool you can which is pretty cool um, they appear to have a thing where if you buy one of those big jumbo floats it looks like a like a flamingo or a peacock or a whatever a giant watermelon they'll blow it up for you or whatever but I'm sure you pay for that because this is not exactly a cheap place to stay but it's pretty cool we walk through the adult area to get to the kids area and in the kids area it's sort of like a splash zone there's lots of little things going off everywhere for kids to get wet with and um, most of the pool is under or you know three feet and under and then uh, the one deep section has two slides one is a really steep uh, straightaway slide that you go real fast down and we've watched some kids go down it and lift their legs at the very bottom and kind of skid across the bottom of the water just like like you're skipping a rock and then there's another one with like a twisty slide that seems pretty cool um, we did both it's kind of a big step for Scarlett because Scarlett like I said is just six now and they've been coming this is the third year um, when they first came Scarlett was too little they wouldn't let her on the on the slides and then last year she was big enough but she went down the slide one time and you know at the end of the slide you kind of go in the deep water and just bleh, you know her dad had yanked her up but still she was like I don't want to do that anymore no so this year she's like I want to do it let's go again let's go again let's go again and so she did and they did and Alex would go first and he would be at the bottom waiting for her when she got down he'd scoop her up and at a certain point he started teaching her how to kind of paddle on her own he said listen when you get to the bottom here like do the doggy paddle let me show you how to do your your arms and your legs and you, you can kind of kick yourself over to the side here and this will be easy and she did and that's really cool that's a big step it's a big step for kids to be independent like that and be able to do that kind of stuff on their own so anyway that's really cool um <clears throat> i'm able to do the podcast right now because they went back to the pool we were at the pool all morning and uh, i got a little i got a little hot i got a little overcooked being out in the sun I just it was just too much um, we uh, we had fun we went down there early we stayed for most of the day uh, as it got to be around one o'clock or so 
I found a umbrella with a with a chair and I kind of hid underneath it and I was like hey let me make sure I don't get cooked here because I feel like I'm cooking and I, I kind of was I tilt you guys a little bit my camera I'm having to do this camera at a weird angle here because because of where I'm at anyway like I said this is all in locations I'm, I'm not using any of my normal gear or any of that stuff this is my backup camera and I'm even recording this. If you're listening to the audio, I'm recording this on an iPad. So if you're like, what's all that noise in the background? It's, uh, we got the dishwasher going in the other room and well, sound carries. So anywho, um, let's talk about stuff I heard. Um, I got nothing. I got nothing. There's nothing I've heard, nothing at all. I've just been on, on vacation. Um, you know, when we're home, it's go, go, go all the time. And it seems like you're just onslaught with information and you're you're kind of overloaded with all the stuff that's going on when you go on vacation it kind of gives you you a free pass to to unplug a little bit we've had the tv on a little bit to watch something like just to have it on but i haven't even paid attention to that um what i have paid attention to is we played a few games we played gin uh rummy the other night and uh I lost, of course. Um, oh well, it happens, right? <clears throat> I would like to talk about the fact that Joey Diaz was in concert, uh, not concert, but he was putting on a show in Charlotte last uh, last evening, Friday and Saturday night. And uh, if I wasn't here enjoying this time with my family, I would have really liked to go see him up in Charlotte again. The last time I went to see him was a couple years ago. And this is before he did the Degenerates thing on uh, Netflix, the little comedy special. He uh, it was playing at the, the Comedy Zone, and I had talked my wife into going with me up there, and we rented a hotel room and kind of, you know, made a little trip out of it. And in the process, I got real sick. Like, before the show, I started feeling bad. During the show, I felt worse. Um, I think I even talked about it on here. I think I made a, I think I may have ordered a beer and drank like this much out of the bottle and was like I can't drink anymore and I suddenly spiked a fever and after the show I went back to the room and took a shower and slept for like 12 hours and then the next day slept in the car on the way home and as soon as we walked in the house I slept the rest of the night it's one of those weird bugs I got on that trip and just had it and it was bad but I like Joey Diaz. I like his podcast, The Church of What's Happening Now. I like the fact that uh, that he's getting more notoriety now, and people are recognizing him. And you know, he's done a lot of TV and movies. And once you see him, you go, "Oh yeah, I know that guy." But uh, but yeah, if I hadn't have been here on this trip with the family, I would have loved to have gone and seen him in concert. It would have been great. Um, so I hope that he did well. I hope that everything went well. Um, I hope the people of Charlotte came out and supported him. You know, it's one of those things where when, when something big comes to your area, you kind of need to support it so that more stuff comes to your area. My buddy Greg lives in Albany, Georgia, and he was saying that um, they go see stuff all the time that he's not normally into. Like Comic-Con came to town and he was like, I figured I'd go because, you know, nothing really comes to our town and why not? So he went to Comic-Con and that's where he met the guys from the podcast, uh, Nerds Who Get Laid Sometimes. And he said he met up with them and talked to them and had a great time and everything. And, and he's been to a few concerts there of, ra of just random bands that show up. Because he's like, I figure if I go, then maybe it'll promote other bands to come. And I think uh, he posted something on his Facebook about 38 Special coming to town. And he's like, cool, we're going to that. So, should be pretty cool. I mean, back in the day, I do remember us making uh, recordings of 38 Special and listening to them in my Bronco driving around town. But anywho, you know, if you have something in your area, uh, go out and support it, and you never know, it may help foster other things to come. So, um, hopefully Charlotte, like I said, did that for Joey, and, and hopefully that's going on just fine. Um, but yeah, that's about it. I don't have a whole lot going on right now. I know this is not exactly what people are expecting. You're like, hey man, I thought you were gonna like tell me about the latest whatever that you're watching or listening to and this and that and the other and normally I would be but I'm not um, 
during the trip down here, I had a bunch of podcasts on my queue ready to listen to, and I didn't I didn't listen to any of them. The wife and I talked the whole way. We had a good time. Kind of just enjoyed our ride together. Um, I have listened to Leanne Kreischer's Wife of the Party, where Bert and her took the kids, uh, Georgia and Isla, to Bali. Um, Bert is in on his um, Body Shots World Tour, and he had some dates come up for Australia and New Zealand. And part of the trip was they wanted to make a family vacation, so they took their daughters, Georgia and Isla, to Bali. And apparently had a great time. So much so that Leanne did a podcast with her daughters to talk about it. And you can tell that, that her oldest daughter, Georgia, is getting more comfortable with a microphone and she can carry on a conversation and, and have things, you know, to kind of keep the ball rolling. Isla's still a little uncomfortable and you can tell that she's not exactly, like, into it. But, you know, kudos to Leanne for trying and for keeping that, you know, keeping that thing going. And uh, I know she feels like it would be good for both of them and good for her to have that interaction. And you can tell that she crafts her questions really well, so I mean that helps the, the whole ordeal go a little better. But anyway, um, I'm going to apologize for making a really short video here, uh, but I do wanted to get one out of there because uh, like I said, this is, this is uh, what, episode 122, July 13th, uh, Saturday. Almost Friday the 13th. We missed that by one day. Ooh, that would have been scary. Um, and, uh, yeah. That's it. So, hope everybody's doing well. Thanks for watching. And uh, please remember to rate, review, subscribe. And I'll be back to normal stuff when I get home. I got jury duty coming up. I'm really looking forward to that. I never served jury, jury duty. Uh, I'm not really certain what to expect. It's for magistrate court, so it probably is not going to be anything may not even come around and they might go to the thing and they might go just go home we don't need you okay whatever either way um it is something new something different and i'm gonna do my civic duty do my part so y'all take care uh please remember to rate review subscribe and share with your friends and if you want to be part of this send me a message i got everything just look up stuff i heard you'll find it okay Y'all take care. Thanks for watching and peace out. Oh, and uh, cue the cow.